<laughs> so she's pranking her man by saying she's going to put her into a care home. This reaction reminds me so much of the Catherine Tate show, man. Check this out. She owes me money. <laughs> she owes me money, the woman. What are you talking about? I gave her 15 quid beginning last week. She never gave it back. Well, it hardly matters now. What a fucking liberty. <laughs> <laughs> She knew she's gonna have a heart attack and die before she could pay you back. Not fucking much, she's gonna. I bet she felt the first twinge go down her arm and thought, that's it, I'll go and tap her across the road. Oh man. Yeah, man, this is the kind of content that Dizzy should be doing because it's just fucking hilarious. I love it. What's up, guys? It is The Small Reviews Part 7. Here it is the review, the roast, the critique everything about the channel. It is back, it is part seven right now. So let's just get straight into this. First up, we got AWPL, he's got 100 subscribers, so let's just see what he's got going on. Many arrivals, that's what I have. So he's got, um, obviously what he's edited it with is forced him to put a watermark on Keen Master. Um, he should probably try and figure out a way to not make that happen. Equal one video of my arrivals. 200 videos yet i still fell in the phone it's time i step up this potential i feel it's inspired already the music and the his voice the way he's done it is really good i mean he's shown his content and now it's shit because he's got no views on it i do feel inspired let's do this he knows he's not doing the best he can but he's ready to make the moves and make the changes and that's what's going to happen so next up we got No Borders Mike, let's check this guy out. Because they have a beer garden somewhere here. Oh, what the <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, No oh. Borders Mike. Today we're going to show you some hidden places. He's doing it next to the train, so it's not exactly the best sound. The effects are not bad though on the way he's put it together. Why is he wearing pajamas though? Anybody else notice he's wearing pajamas? Watch when it goes lower. Look, he's wearing pajamas. What's he wearing? Why is he outside in his in his nightwear? Wow, he's doing some beautiful locations though. Look at these places. They look really cool. In general, the guy's got some really good footage going. I think it's just his sound quality and his the way he needs to try and come across is a lot better. But really, the the content that he's coming out with is actually quite a good idea. So next up, we got Ali Majaz. Ali Majaz. Ali Majaz. And this is a New York one, not a Prague. So the last one was a Prague one. This one's New York. And once again, the editing's pretty good so far. Okay, I'm going to stop it for one second, but this is really well made so far. He, you can quite clearly tell he likes like cinematography or f uh, like photography or whatever. He likes this shit because it's it's really good so far. If you realise they had the, he had like a little clip of Trump in the background through the music. Just got millions and millions. Small things are, small editing things are, is the difference between a channel being good and a channel being amazing. It's a small things like that that people don't know they notice, but you notice it. It's really good. This channel's really good. I think the, this video in specific is really well done. Next we've got DTA2. This guy's got a lot more subscribers than what I usually do, but I'm I'm upping my standards a little bit to try and show the difference between what good channels do, what shit channels do, and what channels that are kind of got a lot of subscribers but don't get many views. 
this is one of them he gets 50 views 30 views 20 17 10 and 22 on a channel that has a thousand subscribers that's pretty bad so we're going to see why that is and what what the see if i can help him out i guess but this is d tier 2 i can't even keep myself on <laughs> All right, just hear this out. Oh my god. All right, play a dickhead. Fuck me. Three, two, one, and. Oh my god. What's happening? What is this video and why is it just shit? Is he using his phone to record this shit as well? Oh my God. This is a whole video about how his sounds bugged out. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. What are you doing? You got a thousand subscribers, and this is the content that you're coming out with. Come on, bro. I had such faith in you as well. Come on, dude. This is not. This is not good enough. This is not good enough. You are better than this. You need to come out with better original content. I don't need to critique this one. I don't need to critique this. It's just shit. So last but not least, we're gonna do. Tech Vania, this guy has 2,000 subscribers, so let's see if he's any better. Grim Dawn. I've never heard of this. Okay, I'll admit it. Looks it. Okay. I'll admit it. I didn't buy Grim Dawn when it first released in 2016. Hell, I didn't even know about the game until recently. Ah, Not that I don't follow action RPGs, it. but at the time I was nestled snugly in Diablo 3. And yeah, Diablo 3 is fun. I played the hell out of it. But I always felt like there was... Right, so... I've just reviewed a lot of channels that are struggling or are small subscribers and they're trying the best. I had one that was big. Look at this guy. Just look at the difference of quality. Listen to the sound quality of what he's saying. He scripted it quite clearly, but he's doing it in a good way. He's talking in quite a coherent way. He's put the video clips of Diablo 2, Diablo 3 over the top. This is Diablo 3. He's putting them over the top. He's explaining what he is. He's explaining. Something he's got the missing. visual effects behind. It didn't behind. feel like he's a true it. successor to Diablo 2. I couldn't put my finger on it at the this time. This is the but, difference yeah, between a 100 subscriber channel then and a 2,000 kind of subscriber channel. And this is the difference Blizzard right is making here. A Diablo mobile game. But it was definitely the right time to announce that maybe you have played Grim Dawn or have heard of it. But if you were out of the loop at just the right moment, maybe you haven't. And that's why I'm here. I start, haven't heard of it, man. Grim is as much of a spiritual successor to Diablo 2 as it is its own game. So look at this guy. So he's saying, he's just providing information about why this game, why it's good. It looks good from just initially looking at it. I would play this kind of game. I love these kind of games. Um, but yeah, this guy, I mean, I'm not. I'm going to watch the full video later on because this guy is just really good. There's nothing else I'm going to say about this video. He's really good. This is the kind of thing where they, anybody who's doing gaming content out there, this is what you're striving for. The excellency of it just just really good so well done to this guy so thanks for watching guys each link to every channel is in the description below in order of appearance so you can check them out uh, with, if you like any of them don't forget to check them out don't forget to hit subscribe to me so you can see more content like this and i will see you in the next video don't forget the bigger i get the bigger you guys get and i'll see you in the next video